Well, I'll walk back to the house with you. Stop being so damn patient with me. You are so annoying. Has anyone ever told you how annoying it is? My ex-wife and my two kids. Well, they're right. You just need to let off some steam. Oh, stop it. Stop trying to make me feel better. I don't want to feel better. And I don't know what to do for you. You want to go for a bike ride? Then go for a bike ride. Go on. Ride your bike. Have a good day. I don't know what to do for you, Iris. All I'm asking you to do is draw up the papers as fast as you can. But you and Charles were married for 26 years. Any court in the country would give you half of all marital property and alimony on top of that. I don't want it. I just want out. Oh. If you feel you have to settle for less because you're having an affair. It's not an affair. Let me assure you. Almost all divorces have something to do with infidelity. And infidelity has nothing to do with the terms of the settlement. I don't want to live on Charles's money. Oliver and I want to start fresh. Great. Thanks. I didn't realize... Where the hell I'm... have you been? Did you call Mom and Dad? Did you tell them I was at the house? Well, they asked me to tell them when you showed up. God, I am 19 years old. I don't need a babysitter. Beth, I don't care what you think about me or anything else, but I'll warn you right now, if that boy is still in the house... Okay. Yes, I... And I would like a ride. No problem. Hop in. All right. You all right? Yeah. What's going on? Who is that? Iris. Who's that? My housekeeper. That's your housekeeper? Iris? Yes. Hello. Yes. Um, these are our friends, Marcus and Yvonne. Hi. Hi. Yes. How are you? I'm sorry I, I wasn't here to meet you. I, uh, I went for a bike ride and then this the guy on the machine, he, uh... Give you a lift, did he? Yeah. <laughs> I can see it now. Forklift the music. Lift me up, young God to the sky. Shut young... up. I give my hand. No, I don't care. Okay. okay, goodbye. Hello, Iris. I'm Leo Tanner. Oh, yes. Mr. Tanner, how do you do? Call me Leo. Uh -huh. Sorry Leo. to see your forklift leave, actually. I thought maybe we were finally getting our hot tub. Oh, darling, if you want a hot tub, all you have to do is ask. Right. Uh, you got my bag there? Iris? Yes. Where's Beth? I don't know. I saw her on the highway a little while ago. She was furious that I had told you she was here. When will she be home? I don't know that she will be, actually. No, no. Well, she'll turn up sooner or later. She probably has some errands to run. Something. Why don't I go start dinner? Why don't you do that? Thank you. True, I swear. He's the worst man in show business. Not to mention the ugliest. Uh, the ugliest, hands down. Those aren't hands, they're paws. <laughs> As any chorus girl in any of his shows will tell you. Why is it people take such an instant dislike to him? It saves time. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, would you care for some more wine? Thank you. Yes. You know what we would like, Iris? Is to know more about the forklift driver. Where'd you meet him? Take me up, young god to the sky. <laughs> oh, Sit on your lap, big uh, he's, he's working on the new sculpture they're putting up down at the dock. If you want to see him, just go into town tomorrow and stand in line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really? There is this... <laughs> Iris, we're ready for coffee now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
That is very nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, Iris. What? So, what are you doing here? Are you punishing yourself or what? <laughs> I mean, I know people in the city that would pay you at least three times what you're making here. And they treat you a hell of a lot better. Oh, thank you. But it's really much more complicated than that. I don't have very much luck with jobs so far. I have to build up some kind of successful employment history. There's another idea. Oh, no. Employment, the musical. Oh, yes. I could have worked. No, Marcus, Marcus, no, 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 no. I could have scrubbed the floor. <laughs> you <laughs> have way too much of that. Oh. Um, Iris, could I have a, a word with you? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse. Excuse us. Crack that whip, tote that barge. Mm -hmm. I do not pay you to sit around talking to my guests. I'm just trying to be polite. Yeah, no, you just go and wash the dishes and then go to your room, please. I'm going to bed, Paula. I have to catch an early flight in the morning. Darling, I think I'll come back to the city with you tomorrow. I've got some shopping to do. And well, I think you better stay here in case Beth comes back. <sighs> Stop it. It's not why you don't want me to come back. Come on, you hate the city. What I hate is being stuck here with nobody to talk to. You have Iris. I can't talk to Iris. She hates me. I can barely bring myself to eat her food. Right, look, Paul, you do whatever you want, okay? I'm booked solid for the next two weeks, so just don't expect me to keep you company. Beth should show up. Could you keep an eye on her for us? Make sure she doesn't steal the cars or anything. And, um, if Paula leaves any money in the dresser, take it out so Beth doesn't get it, okay? Well, I should tell Mrs. Tanner if I'm going to do that. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. I hate to ask you to do this. It's just that if we don't set some limits for Beth, she could end up in very serious trouble. about being here, you have my number, right? Yes. Good. Oh, Thanks. take care of yourself now, all right? I will. Have okay. a good trip. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. 